what's up YouTube you checking out the frequent flyer and this is my review of the bugs 3 mini this is it right here and this thing is awesome man I really like it if you guys like the bugs 3 the original one you're gonna love this one this is more of the same it has all the same good qualities of the original bugs 3 with an added bonus of acro mode now this bugs here is smaller obviously the transmitter is a little different let me grab the bugs 3 the original one so you guys can see that this is the size of the original one this is a rebranded one from Drocon, but still the bugs 3 and check out how small they shrunk this thing so they made it a little smaller a lot smaller actually it still has the light in the front they got rid of the eyes on the top though <laughs> but the one thing that people are probably going to be concerned about is this battery bay here it's a proprietary battery now my battery is actually charging it's done charging because I'm going to take this thing out for a fly and so this is the battery charger here there's a USB cable there with a normal 2S balance port on it and then you have this thing here which is an adapter so you can get your battery charged and this is the proprietary battery guys a lot of people are going to be turned off from this proprietary battery but whatever but this is the way it goes in here and then you plug the other end of that into this and you can charge it on your USB dongle or whatever wherever you want to charge it the battery goes in the back here like that and there's a little locking mechanism on it you press this up to release it and you have these two tabs on the side to allow you to pull it out that way so pretty nice let me plug it in let you guys see the light that's the light on the front ESC's are chiming the normal way and the lights are flashing here on the bottom that's letting you know that it's not connected once you connect these rear lights do turn on there so while well, these are solid now because we're connected now if I press this here now the blue ones are up now I have to hold this lock button to stop the motor from spinning you don't have any control while you're at zero throttle now this new bugs has acro mode a lot of people are probably uh, curious a lot of people are probably curious about the acro mode on this guy it's a raw acro mode it's true acro no air mode so you really gotta know how to fly acro in order to fly this thing so I would say the acro mode is for experienced flyers only experienced in acro mode that is because you can crash it I have crashed this one time actually on concrete and it held up so this is pretty durable it definitely is so if you're flying in some grass you're probably not going to break it as fast but a bunch of crashes will break anything so I won't say that this thing is unbreakable but it's got the same toughness as the original bugs 3 so that's a plus on it it has this same canopy that can be popped off so check it out and I just wanted to show you guys something and my batteries are done charging I'm gonna take something out to fly and so check it out guys this is the plus and minus here modders hint hint <laughs> but anyhow when you plug your battery into the, these little connectors here these pins slide into your battery and that gives it power and it powers this board and that powers this board here there's a socket here for powering this light here I'm guessing they're gonna bring a FPV camera because it does say FPV right there and there's another notch there so I'm wondering if there's actually a VTX inside here anyhow let me pop this top back on it oh it has these props on it here these props are actually 3.6 inches so it's an odd size and the post on the props are 
smaller than usual so you're not going to be able to use any custom props on here unless you do some modifications or you have some adapters or something remove the prop this is the prop removal tool that it comes with this holds the mortar still so you can screw the prop on and off tightly and so this is the prop here not sure what the pitch is on it or anything the pitch angle doesn't give any information as to that and so look it's a little thinner so I don't know what we're gonna do about that <laughs> we're gonna for now just have to use the stock props on it let me tighten that up and dual bladed props are more efficient than the tri blades in the four blades so I think that's why they went with this I, they went with bull nose for the look I'm guessing we have prop guards for it and the prop guards just snap on this way you guys know I don't use prop guards though as you can see they're easy to put on and easy to pull off you just press them in this little space here and they snap on if you can get it lined up correctly there it is so I'll let you guys see what it looks like with the props on it then we're gonna talk about the transmitter a little bit now the transmitter is pretty comfortable it feels like the same type of gimbals they're not real gimbals it doesn't feel like anyhow if they are they're plastic but it's a pretty nice feel though I was able to fly acro mode on it it probably would be a little better with a more hobby grade transmitter but this gets the job done now this is the button that turns the lights on and off it's a pretty nice night flyer as well lights all over this thing and so you can turn the lights on and off here this locks and unlocks the motors when you first receive it you have to hold this button in and turn the transmitter on and that binds the quad to the transmitter just like the old one and this is your speeds button the speeds there's only two speeds and the speeds only work in angle mode and this button is for some camera once they come out with a camera or something this button is going to be for that this is not a real wheel here and there's a space here you can pull this little rubber grommet out and I'm guessing you can pop a screen or something on there this button here switches from acro to angle mode and you can't do that on the fly you have to actually stop land the quad you have to turn the transmitter and pull the battery and turn it back on once you switch this for it to register so you can't switch in and out of angle and acro in the air so that's another reason I'm saying this is only for experienced flyers because you're not going to be able to pop it back to angle mode to save you if you're in trouble so <laughs> you're just going to have to uh, fly your way out of it man and these are the trim buttons also someone mentioned uh, using a trim button to get this into like a modified air mode like turn the throttle trim up a little and have it spinning all the time there's no throttle trim on here so that's out the door that's not going to work this takes four double a batteries i got some rechargeables in there and there's a button right here an l1 button this is for flips you can do flips in all directions in angle mode and this button is stiff i don't think it's operational there's a light here on it and it's a pretty decent transmitter I really like the way it feels it's a little different from the original bugs 3 transmitter but you guys should be able to get used to it pretty fast and the other thing is the telemetry the telemetry is all there so it has all the nice telemetry that the original bugs 3 has it has a low voltage warning telemetry with the transmitter the transmitter starts to beep periodically and it also has a loss of connection or loss of signal if you're flying out too far the transmitter starts to beep to let you know that you're at low RSSI so pretty decent really awesome so let's go check this thing out in flight okay guys so we out here on the snowy field at Oxford Circle Raiders home field with the bugs three mini so let's just get this thing in the air before the battery gets cold 
So we're in angle mode right now. Let's check a punch out. Really nice punch out. So check it out. We're in high rates now. Check out the yaw. Side, with, side pitch, forward pitch. Let's go to low. So we're in low now. That's the yaw, sideways pitch, forward pitch. So we're going back to high. Check out the funnels. And it's saying the battery is dead already. I had it in the snow for a couple seconds, guys. So let's see if we can do a flip still. We still can do a flip. See how fast it is. Really fast. This thing is going to be awesome. I know you guys are going to love this one. Let's try to hurry and stop and go into acro mode. So I pulled the battery. It's in acro mode. Let's take off with it. Okay, so we're in acro mode. And the transmitter's still screaming at me. And I crashed it. We're in acro mode still. So to do quick flips, you have to lower the throttle a little. Oh, it didn't do anything that time. <laughs> So you got to be careful not to lower the throttle too much. I think that might be what happened earlier when I crashed. So used to flying air mode, guys. And it's saying that the battery is low, but it haven't fallen or anything. The lights on the quad aren't flashing. controls are a little touchy too I wish somebody would deviate it so I'm trying to see what will happen on LVC but the lights aren't flashing on the quad only the lights on the transmitter I mean not the well yeah the light on the transmitter is flashing as well as it beeping the quad isn't beeping though the quad does have a buzzer on it too so i don't understand that Let's try front flip so the acro takes getting used to Whoa, I nearly let throttle all the way off on that one. <laughs> and it did a nice tight flip. So I guess you can use the momentum of it going over to do a tight flip. But it's tricky. The Bug Street Mini, guys. True acro flight in this thing. Okay, so let's bring it down. Let's 
So we stop the motors. We're gonna fly it a little more in angle mode. Oh, I'm still in acro. I forgot to switch it on the transmitter. So let's go. We're back in angle mode. I think the default is high when you're flying in angle mode. Now I don't know if the cold is offsetting the transmitter or what, but it's saying that the battery's low, but this thing is flying like the battery's not low. Oh, it's it's doing it now. So I don't know what, oh, maybe the beeping I'm hearing in the transmitter is that the transmitter battery is was low. So this is the LVC of the Bugs 3 Mini. We hear the quad is buzzing and the transmitter is buzzing more steadily. Check it out. So let's stop it. And that's what happens at low RSSI. And so that's it. A quick demo flight of this new Bugs 3 Mini. I really like it. If you like the Bugs 3 original, you're going to love this one. Thanks for watching.